Dom goes up. And so with Dom to shoot favourite, they're ready. Line complete. The two-year-olds stand in will. All clear given. They're off and racing. Time scale left well. Dom to shoot. Missed the kick, though. And his second last as they get going. Sunny Bell drops out to be a conspicuous last. And flying away is smashing it. Well, it's showing some dash today. Smashing. It pinged the gates. Landing in front, would you believe, from Champagne Diva. Time scale third. Now making ground. Dom to shoot. Being followed by Mombasa. Reciting being dug up. Ridden along on the inside in advance of Queen Brown, followed by Shoulder Strap and two lengths behind them, Sonny Bell, who was slow away. At the 600, though, and Smashing shows the way. We didn't really expect this, but Smashing will bring them to the home corner. Three quarters clear, Champagne Diva, who'd come off the fence now. A length and a half, Dom to shoot, tracking up beautifully for Carberry, down on the inside. Time scale outside of it, then Mombasa, followed by Reciting and Queen Brown. Into the straight, though, Smashing led the way. Here comes Dom to shoot. Dom to shoot around the leaders here. Heels and a further two length Champagne Diva time scale. Queen Brown Mombasa run on. Dom to shoot with 150 left to travel led the way. Queen Brown has run to second. It's Dom to shoot and down the outside. Queen Brown coming. Dom to shoot's in front. Dom to shoot fell in from Queen Brown. Dom to shoot by a neck to Queen Brown who finished with gusto. Time scale Mombasa photoed third together and they beat off Smashing who showed surprising pace. In behind them reciting Champagne Diva weekend followed by Sean Shoulder strap and last all the way was Sonny Bell. Dom to shoot after a sluggish commencement was able to continually improve along the inside so much so that Carberry had the favourite third at the top of the stretch and was able to peel off the back of smashing putting pay to the filly who for the first time showed a bit of dash. She left the gates brilliantly this afternoon in contrast to what we'd seen in a trial and also her first up appearance. But she weakened. Queen Brown has finished stoutly the newcomer. And time scale looks as though it just clinches third. It does from Mombasa. It's 1-8. Six and two there after race one. And the second victory in four runs for the shooting to win two-year-old Dom to shoot for Wally Daly, Sean Casey, Pat Carberry. They're continuing a very good week. They had a double here on Wednesday. And Dom to shoot scored by a neck, a length and a half second and third. Second placing to Queen Brown by Patronise from Red Valley Black. Trained by Danny Morton, ridden by Lucy Warwick. A very encouraging debut performance. And third placing... Going the way of time scale by press statement from before the present, Simon Miller and Joe as a party. One, eight, six and two. And a Dom to shoot to pay two ninety one forty on tote. Queen Brown, 360 time scale, one dollar ninety. He's a real pro, this fellow. Dom to shoot, four starts, two wins and uh, a second to date. And uh, he's uh, certainly got uh, some maturity about him and he did the job in good style there after 21 days between runs he responded when Carberry really put the acid test to him over the last 150 meters of that race with Queen Brown in pursuit but Dom to shoot has found the mark race two here this afternoon the tab touch better your bet handicap over 1600 no changes a field of eight let's go down now to Scott Embry about to join us in the enclosure as uh, the Sean Casey Stable celebrates another winner here this week. It's been a very productive week for Sean and also part owner Wally Dade along with Patrick Carberry. It's a winning combination. Let's go down now and we'll catch up there with uh, our man, Scotty, who's in the yard and joining him is Sean Casey. Thank you, Darren. Yes, Sean and I are becoming very good friends. He's having a purple patch at the moment. Sean, this is a big, big two-year-old. Is one of the big ones that you've had? He's, he would be the biggest one I've brought into a two-year-old race here. He's uh, and to be... Uh, so nimble on his feet, it, yeah, it just blows me away. Going back to when you got a hold of him the first time and you first set eyes on him, did you ever think he'd make a two-year-old? Well, he was just on the second bracket all the time because he was just, you know, like you just said, he's a three-year-old. But And because uh, he was in work with the, with the other ones just for his uh, for mental reasons, so he could know what was going on when he turned three, he just... Uh, He's overshadowed the more nimble ones. What's he like at home? Is, he, is it hard to keep him sound? Or is he just a, a naturally born racehorse? He's just nat naturally born. He's re really strongly bred, you know, on his mare's side, uh, which is Pin Rouge's sister, Princess Rouge. And uh, we raised her and she was a super horse, but she had bad legs and 
and she was too big. And uh, he's just, you know, a spinning image of her. Is he on his way to the Karakata flight? Yep, yep he certainly is. Yeah, that's our plan. Will that be the end for him, or if he, he stays the way he's going at the moment, will you think about maybe a size? Because you look at some horses and... Well, we, we've probably got the size as probably uh, as his mission, but, um, yeah, it's each, each day, babies, it, you know, like if we can get through to the Karakata, it'll be great, and if we get through to the size, it'll be great. Quick word on your other filly? Uh, which, which one? Uh, which... Uh, sorry, in this race. Oh, yeah, she, she, I thought she would go, go better today, but she was all legs and she, uh, she'll go back out in the paddock after today. I'd, um, I'd just like to say uh, we're all thinking of George and uh, Wally's crook, and um, he handed over the reins to me, and I'm thinking of him. Congratulations, Sean, and well said. There's uh, Sean Casey, who uh, makes a really good point there. We're all thinking about the Daly family at this uh, tough time for them. We've got Paddy Carberry with me after the win of Dom to shoot a little bit uh, slowly out of the gates today, Paddy. Never jumped well in his life, not once. Someone that is always riding well as yourself. Uh, you put him into a perfect position thereafter. Oh, your words are too kind, mate. Um, no, he, he just takes 50 metres to get going, and you know he got going right and got into the right spot. Um, when the horse in the box seat of Fernie's sort of went to the one off line, you could see that it was sort of hanging out about halfway around the corner, so I was pretty confident of getting out. He still wobbles a bit around the corner, and um, once he got into clear room, you know he was always going to be hard to beat. Um, just the thing, only thought that what was worrying me was that he was in front a fair way from home because he's still a bit of a big slug and, and whatever. But um, yeah, I put the stick away and sort of tried to urge him along and, you know, he found the line right. Confident that uh, you'll be staying with him going toward a Karakata? Well, I've still got a few in the wings. Still um, early days yet, but anything can happen. Congratulations, Paddy, and hopefully we're chatting again later on. Let's hope so. Thanks. There's Patrick Carberry, one, eight, six and two after the running of race number one here at Ascot.